Right. All right, so what's happening right now? You're witnessing prophecy. Let me show you something that God said. Give me uh, Zephaniah 2 and 1. It's time to, it's time to separate ourselves from uh, this, this wicked nation that we are in. Christmas, Halloween, all these pagan holidays that you, that, that you partake in. It's time to separate from that. Right now you're breaking God's holy Sabbath. I bet you they didn't teach you that in your uh, Catholic churches. I bet you they didn't teach you that in your, your Christian churches. Alright, read what you got. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourself together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. You so-called Mexicans, you so-called Hispanics, you are the nation not desired. Just look at your history. What happened? How did you lose this land? Brother, I'm like Inglés. The conquistadors came to this country and conquered and enslaved the people that was in, in this nation. Mexico extended all the way into doggone Nick, California somewhere. But now they push you all, they almost push you off the map. But we sitting here and we act like we good. Right. Let me show you what God is doing in these last days. Read that again. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourself together. Yea, gather together. O nation not desired. God is gathering the 12 tribes of Israel in these last days. That's right. Because something's about to happen on this earth. Right. So I know y'all wondering why these black guys in purple keep coming to my, uh, our neighborhood with that Bible. Give me Zechariah uh, 11 and 7. 12 and 7. All right, so let me show y'all what's happening. You are witnessing prophecy unfold right before your eyes. You are witnessing the Bible coming to life. All right, let me see that. Read. The book of Zechariah, chapter 12 and verse 7. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. Read that again from the top. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. That's what you're witnessing happen. You're witnessing the, tent, the tents of Judah. The so-called blacks have been raised up back to the knowledge of who we are according to the Bible. Right. And now we're coming out to teach the rest of the tribes. We're coming out to teach that you, you so we get, we get, we're happy at being on the bottom. Right. Okay, don't get it twisted because you got a few uh, super mercados. Don't get it twisted because you got a, 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 a carniceria or a taco shop on the corner. Right. You are supposed to own this earth. Right. Get out. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true judges of this earth. Right. We're supposed to be ruling over society. Right. But we're not. Hey, yo, why? Why? Because we went, into, we went into sin instead of keeping God's laws. You out here sinning today. You're breaking the Sabbath. you buying and selling on the Sabbath. Why? Because... Oh, this is the, Saturday is the day when all the people are out here. Let's go out and get this money. But if you keep God's laws, he's going to bless your business regardless. Faithless generation. Right. They break the Sabbath. Uh -oh. Break it out. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 35 and verse 2. Listen up, because this, this was a law that God gave you so-called Hispanics. Read. Six days shall work be done. But on the seventh day, there shall be to you a holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever does work therein shall be put to death. Whosoever does what? Does work therein shall be put to death. Romans 6 and 23. So when, that's a law that God gave you so-called Hispanics. That God gave you so-called Mexicans. The Israelites according to the Bible. But you don't keep his laws. So you don't keep your name. I'm going to show you, you lost your name for being in sin. You're called by another name. Hey, the, we, we're bringing out the, that so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. we the Israelites, according to the Bible. You believe in the Bible? You believe in God? I'm like, who, who speaks English? I'm like, English? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, come on. No, on, on this side. On this side. Let me ask you a question. All right? Let me ask you a question about my signs over here, all right? So, 
On one on, on these signs I got right here, one of them is Jesus Christ. And one of them is the devil. So let's pick who who is the devil? Where? Walk up to him and, 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 and touch him. So you think that one is the devil? Be because see that's what you've been taught in this society. But now let me tell you what show you what the Bible says. You you believe in God's Bible? Alright, give me Revelation chapter one. Alright? One and one. So stick around, listen, I'm gonna show you. The book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation means reveal the revealing of. It's gonna the Bible is gonna reveal the description of Jesus Christ. So it's gonna tell you what Jesus Christ looks like. So you listen to this. You need to know because you need to know the truth. Alright? And you're only gonna get the truth from the Israelites. Because we're not afraid to tell the truth. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. So we're gonna get right into the description. His head, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now which one of their hair is white like wool? That's what the Bible said. They got hair that's white like wool. So he's got the white woolly hair. Alright? Read on. As white as snow. As white as snow. As white as snow. Meaning it's fully gray. Like a, like a, if you see somebody that grows old, their hair gets fully white, fully gray. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Like so, wait a minute. His eyes was a flame of fire because if you learn any, if you read the Bible and learn about Christ, he drank wine. And that makes your eyes red. So who has the uh, red eyes? This one. All right. Read on. And his head, excuse me, and his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were the flame of fire, and his feet like a fine brass. You know what color brass is? Brass is brown, like a like a, a, a old penny. Brass is a brown metal. All right, read that again. And his feet like a fine brass. So his feet was like a fine brass, read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you got a, 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 a metal that's already brown, if you burn it in the furnace, what color is it going to turn in? So who look like, they, who's got woolly hair? Who's got red eyes? Whose skin look like it burned in the furnace? That's Jesus Christ. But got, why do you think this is Jesus today? Why? Because we've, we've been lied to. We've been lied to. You've been lied to in these churches. You've been lied to uh, uh, at, in school. You've been lied to uh, by the media, by TV. Right. This is Jesus Christ. This is what the Bible says Jesus Christ looks like. That's been in that book for hundreds of years. So now your life is going to change from this day moving forward. That's right. Because the truth of Christ has been revealed to you at a young age. Right. That, that's, that's a blessing. Do you know that? Because you were walking in lies all your life, and, up until you, and, and at an early age, how old are you? You're 11 years old. So right now, you're finding out the truth about Christ. And now you gotta, just like your, your father don't speak uh, that much English, so you gotta learn, get a flyer. You have to learn what we teach, God's law, statutes, and commandments, and translate it to your father so he can know the truth. You, you see what I'm saying? So if Christ was black, then Christ is the, uh, uh, who, what did his parents look like? They were black. If Christ is the son of God, what does God look like? Christ is the son of God, and he, he was made in the image of his father. What does God look like? Let's, let's not guess, let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, sir. We're going to get you the image. This is the image of Christ. We're going to get you the image of the Most High God. See, you're learning something very heavy at this young age, and you got to translate it and, and, and tell your father everything that I'm saying to you, okay? All right, you got a Biblia at the house? You got a Bible at the house? Show him what, what, what we're, we're showing you today, all right? So, uh, Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14, and then Daniel 7 and 9. Listen up before you go. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. And I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. Daniel saw, the prophet Daniel seeing God, he, told, he referred to him as the Ancient of Days. Because he has no beginning of time, he is the creator of time. You know, we, we are bound by the uh, restriction of time. We, we born, then we get old, then we die. That don't happen to the Most High, he's the Ancient of Days. Read, and he did sit. So God has a body. 
Reed, whose garment was white as snow, and the hairs of his head like the pure wool. So God had woolly hair, just like Christ had woolly hair. You've been lied to all your lives, thinking that this is Jesus. Right. That's why you. That's why you strip blind your hair, try to look like the so-called white woman. Because you think that's Jesus. Bring it out. Wait, hold on. We got. What, we, I'm showing you what God look, looks like. Read. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as a burning fire. And fire steam issue came from the excuse, came from from before him. Yep. So, so that's what we showing y'all. We we teaching y'all the truth according to this Bible. Right. You so-called Hispanics, you got to come back to God's laws. Right. God is gathering his, the 12 tribes of Israel in these last days. Right. In these last days, he's, he's going to listen. God is going to raise up the Israelite men, you so-called blacks and Hispanics, and we're going to take back this community, and we're going to take back this earth, right. whether you're going to be a part of it or not. Right. Whether you're going to be a part of it or not. Bring it up. Read that. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 30 and verse 20. And thou the Lord give you the bread of adversity. And though the Lord give us the bread of adversity, why? Because of the curses in Deuteronomy 28. It says, Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Y'all got gang gang bangers running running in through this neighborhood just like we got it in the black neighborhood. Right. Y'all got Latin kings, Spanish disciples over here shooting shooting each other up in your community, just like we do. Right. You're cursed in the city. Read that again from the top. That's the bread of adversity. Read. And thou the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Read that again. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. And thou the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Because blacks and Hispanics, we drink the water of affliction. Prostitution in our neighborhoods. Gang banging in our neighborhoods. Right. Shot down in the streets. Just as many so-called Hispanics get shot down in the street as black folk, as blacks do. I know you see the black, they put the blacks all on the news. But they keep it, they keep, they keep it on the hush when the Hispanics get shot. Right. They keep it on the hush when the Native Americans get shot. Right. Why? They don't want us to put two and two together. That we are all getting the bread of adversity and the water of, of affliction. And God is putting us through this because he's going to gather us together in these last days. Right. Read. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. The, your teachers ain't going to be removed from no corner no more. That's why we come out here and we teach bold out here on the street. Right. We teaching you that Christ was a black man according to the Bible. Right. We teaching you that the white man has lied to you. Right. That this is not Jesus Christ. This is the damn devil. We ain't going to be removed in no corner. We're not going to be afraid of this uh, of, of no no governments. We ain't going to be afraid of no gangs. We're going to come out here and we're going to teach the word of God. Right. Give me Romans 12. We're going to come out here and we're going to teach the word of God whether you will hear or whether you will forbear. forbear. Whether you listen or not. Hey. God is going to raise up 12,000 leaders of each tribe right. in these last days. It's going to happen. It's going to happen whether you want it, whether you want to be in that number or not. Right. Read the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. We present our bodies as a as a as a what? As a living sacrifice. We present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Y'all out here having breakfast with your family. Y'all out here uh, uh, selling that uh, breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. We coming out here. We we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, meaning we're not afraid. We gonna teach this word as it is written. Right. We're going to show you what Christ really looked like. We're going to show you what this Bible really say. If the Bible say that somebody is the devil, we're going to call them the damn devil. Right. We don't care what you say. We're going to teach this word as it is written. Read that again. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. And that's what we're doing. 
we, we present ourselves as a live, living sacrifice. So we are presenting ourselves as a, as, a, as a living sacrifice coming out here to teach our people. All right? Give me, uh, uh, give me, give me first piece. Because we ain't doing this for fun. We coming out here to warn our people because guess what? Something's gonna happen on this earth. What just happened? What, what was going on uh, about a year ago? All the stores was closed down, right? There was a, the Walmart, the shelves in Walmart was empty. People was, uh, the, the, you go to Walmart, the line was a mile long. People were fighting to buy toilet tissue for Christ's sakes. Now we back sleep. We see things are happening on this earth, but we're not paying attention. That's what we're going to come out here. We're going to come out here and show you that something is coming. Something is going to happen on this earth. Let me see it. Read. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. Listen up. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Does everybody want to see sweet Jesus? Everybody's going to church to learn about Jesus. But the Lord going to come like a thief in the night. That's why we're coming out here to warn and wake up our people. Right. Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The, 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 the heavens shall pass away with a what? And the elements shall melt. The, 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 the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom! Those are those nuclear bombs. Warfare is coming to the United States of America. Why do y'all think they made these uh, so-called nuclear weapons? Hey, can I ask you a question, brother? Look. Can I ask you a question? Thanks, man. Why do you think Look. that this countries made nuclear weapons? But in a Bible, just, kill. just, just, to, just to hold them in the silos? They, they made them to kill. So listen to what the scriptures are saying. Listen to what the, 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 the prophets are saying is going to happen on the day of the Lord. Listen. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, and verse 10. You believe in the Bible? All right. But the day of the Lord will come at a thief in the night. So everybody's waiting on sweet Jesus. All right. But it says he's going to come like a thief in the night. When, when, when a thief comes, he don't ring your doorbell and let you know. When a thief comes, he, he don't want you to be aware that he's coming. He's going to slide up on you. Read. In, the, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Those are those nuclear weapons that we should we were just talking about. It's gonna look when those things drop, it's gonna look like the heavens have passed away. And it's gonna be a great noise. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All these elements that make up things, you see that metal pole, you see that uh that concrete uh sign. All the elements are gonna melt with fervent heat. This is the day of the Lord. Oh my God. This is what the this is what the Lord is gonna bring with him when he comes. Read. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So the earth is gonna be burned. All the works that you see, you see these malls and these stores, all that stuff is gonna be burned up. So we're not coming out here playing with our people. We're actually warning that danger is coming. Alright? So that's why God is trying to wake up the twelve tribes of Israel. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's, he's, he's making good on his word. This is what he promised he was going to do before he destroys this place. Give me Isaiah uh, chapter 45 and, and verse 17. And that's why we think because let me show you that the, the, the Lord is going to have mercy. What's your so-called nationality? Those um, all, all those things. Who was your father? Why, if you hear the word ice, uh, they got a unit. No, no, it's not his name. What, what was his uh, nationality? Because the nationality goes by the seed of your father. Your, your father was a Mexican, so you, you are the seed of your father. That means you're a Mexican. So on my sign over here, the Mexicans are from the, the, the tribe of Issachar. All right. So you wanted to, you you want God promised you mercy when He destroys this place. That destruction that we read about, that's gonna happen. He promised you mercy. But guess what? You gotta keep God's laws. You can't do what you want to do and think you're gonna get that mercy. You gonna melt just like the elements. But God promised mercy to those who keep His laws. Read that real quick, and then I'm gonna show you something else about uh, your your. 
your uh, forefathers. You know because this book was addressed to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, so Mexicans, did they check? You go to a, You ever been to a church? Yeah. Have they ever told you that the so-called Mexicans are in the Bible? I'm going to show you that today. Read that real quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. So Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. That's that kingdom that we all uh, talk about. That's that kingdom that they talk about in the church. That everlasting salvation, the streets of gold. That's only for the black, that's only for Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. All right, read. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.